is what you have to do for these problems. I'm going to do one on the first side and one on the back side. They're, they're, um, and so what you need to do is you need to first check and make sure everything you're given everything that you have. So you should have solute and water inside. You should have solute and water outside. Do I have everything? Yes. Yes, I have both the inside and outside complete. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to figure out where the, we don't care about the solute. I mean, we do, but we care more about the water. So you find where the water is more and you circle it. Where's the water more? Inside. Inside. So I circle that. And then I'm going to draw an arrow from the big water to the small water. Okay? Now, if you're good at memorization, you can memorize what's happening here. Or if you're better at figuring out what's going to happen process-wise and then go back and find the vocabulary, you can do it that way. But look at my drawing here. What's going to happen to my cell? It's going to shrink, right? So the size of the cell is going to shrink. Remember, er, so what's going to happen? What kind of cell is this? Hypertonic. Hyper All right, hypertonic. Everyone's going to be going like this in their, during their test or thinking about coffee, right? So hypertonic shrinks, right? All right, and so uh, if they're equal, the water doesn't leave or enter. It enters and it leaves equally, actually. So it stays the same sign as isotonic. So keep that in mind. Flip to the back. We'll do one of these back ones. All right, we're going to do the um, second row, first one. Actually, no, let's not do the second row, first one, because we've already seen one that's similar to that. Uh, We'll do the second row, second one, the one right in the middle, right smack dab in the middle. Yeah. Are we missing stuff? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So what are we missing inside the cell? The, uh, the H2O. The H2O. So if I have 40% solute, what do I have in my water? 60. 60. Okay. What number goes outside here? 70. 70, right? Because the inside has to equal 100. 60 plus 40 equals 100. 100% means everything. And the outside of the cell has to equal 100, right? You look at the inside first, and then you look at the outside, okay? Don't look at both at the same time, okay? Because otherwise, you're going to get the wrong numbers, all right? Now, where do I have more water? You circle it, find it, and circle it. The outside, so I'm going to find that and circle it. And I'm going to draw an arrow from the big water to the small water. So what's going to happen to the size of my cell? It's going to grow. Grow. Shrink? Grow? Grow. Grow, right? And water is going in to the cell. So it's going to grow, right? And there's a clue. What type of solution is that? It is hypo. Hypotonic. Yeah, you can do the, just the abbreviation hypo, 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 iso. Oh, uh, gosh. But just know on your test, you're going to have to know it multiple choice, and you will have a short answer at the end of Chapter 5. So... I just got a dab because he's excited about a short answer test. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so go ahead and work on this. This should be fun. It's going to be fun. We get out of here in about a minute. So work on this tonight. This is your homework. We'll go over the answers tomorrow. What do you say? Step number 11 only. ISO. Okay, this is just practice for tomorrow.